Did you have any aversions to blood and the body's internal structures prior to medical school? If so, how did you overcome them? Yeah, Aaron, uh, I'd say that when I first was interested in medicine, um, and, and, you know, my mom would say this, my, my, my parents would definitely say this, that I, I didn't want to be a surgeon, you know, right now I'm interested in surgery because, you know, that's stuff that I've shadowed and experienced and I like the lifestyle and I like all these different things, but, uh, I didn't want to do that because I was kind of queasy around blood. And I think one of the things that I did to kind of help myself cope with that was just understanding that if I can compartmentalize what's going on. Uh, I can overcome it and and be better with it. So I just kind of realized that, all right, when I see blood in like real life and in real life situations, it makes me a little bit queasy, like seeing my own blood gets me a little bit queasy. But if I was in like a lab or if I was in like a, a an animal dissection or something like that in, in college, or if I was just, you know, doing anything where I could compartmentalize and say, this is not real, or this is not you know, a person or just kind of compartmentalize as bad as that kind of sounds to say, you know, um, taking taking the the realness out of it. So I remember when I was shadowing in the operating room for the first time, I was seeing a rotator or not a rotator. It was um, it was a shoulder replacement. So it was a total shoulder replacement and they make a huge incision across the shoulder here and you know they suction out all the blood and the fluid and i was watching the fluid go up the tubes and be collected and i was getting queasy and i had to step out of the operating room because i felt like i was going to pass out and that's just one of those things that i guess a lot of people for the first time they experienced that and um i experienced that too and it's normal and i think as i took a step back i took a breather i got something to eat I got something to drink and then I went back in there. I've been, I've been fine ever since. So I think it's just exposing yourself and then I'm getting used to it at the same time. What's going on everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and for watching. If you're new and it's the first time you're watching one of my videos, my name is Terrence and I'm currently a first year medical student in Philadelphia. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, like the video and share with somebody that may need it. My goal is always to grow the channel and help others that may need it. So if you know somebody that may need this type of video, be sure to share it. If you're interested in hopping in on one of my live streams, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when I go live. Thank you again for watching. Be sure to subscribe and let's get it.